Hi, in this movie we see the new water model of vehicle simulator. As you can see, <coughs> the water looks stunning. It has reflection, refraction, wavelets, bump, animation, particles, underwater and above water, the water is simply superb. In vehicle simulator, the sea is not fixed. You can change every parameter you want ab about this sea. For example, let's press O to show the options for the sea. Now we can even turn off the waves and we have a 2D sea with just ripples, refraction and refraction. Even this model is lighter to render and looks superb. Then we can even turn the sea <coughs> into a shaded model. In this mode, the sea simply shows the color of the depths and the bottom of the sea and looks stunning. We can even turn the sea into 3D and flat shaded and it is still lighter to render and still looking good. We can change the, wa the wave swelling, we can make the sea without bumps at, at all and it looks just like the water in a swimming pool. When we go down we see the familiar looks of a water in a swimming pool. Okay, now let's get, let's get above the water and change some more parameters. <coughs> we turn the sea into a flat shaded, into a flat, and then change the brightness. This changes the strength of the reflection and we can make very picturesque looking sea. When we turn on the bump again, you can see the water looking just like ocean water and you can change the underwater visibility to show and hide the bottom. We can even change the wave swelling to make the sea look more choppy or less choppy, giving it the difference between the water in a lake and the, and the water in a fully developed sea. We can then change the weather options like wind, wave size, wave height and make very high waves looking like just like the perfect storm. As you can see, the water in vehicle simulator are both very realistic and very versatile to use.